Booyah. Hi, Chris Davis here with PC Addicts. We're going to show you how to make a patch cable. Now, I don't know all the terminology. It's been a while since I've been in, a, in, in the Cisco class, but uh, it's been a long while, actually. But, but uh, basically, the way I make them is, is pretty fairly simple. It's a patch cable for, for connecting your computer up to you know, a, a router, a switch, uh, a hub, or, or or any kind of network device. So, what we're doing, let me try to get in the camera view here, sorry, is I already have a sh uh, probably about a four foot piece of Cat5 cable. Um, and I got a stripper here, so I'm going to strip off, I don't know, a good uh, inch and a half, two inches. I, I I cut off a lot. I like I like some room when I'm working, so what I'll do is I'll take my stripper, Stick the wire in there. Um, just, just it's spring loaded, so it keeps a, a good amount of pressure on it. I'm just going to spin it around a couple times, and with different uh, grade of, of cable, you might have to adjust the spring tension or adjust, uh, or you know, adjust how many times you spin it around. Basically, there's a little razor blade in there, and it's just strip. It's going to just create a little thing where you can just rip it right off. So there you go. Exposes the wires. Okay. What I'm going to do is, they're, 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 they're in pairs, they're twisted in pairs, um, all the different colors. I, the way, I guess you can color code them however you want, I, there's probably a standard that should be used, but you know, I, I've seen people and, and companies sell them with all different kinds of colors, so uh, color combinations. The, the important thing is, is on each end, they are the same. Okay. That will give you a straight through patch cable. We're not making a crossover cable, it's just going to be a straight through patch cable. The most common one out there. Uh, first thing I do is I untwist them all so I can work with them, and this one's being a little pain. One's at work, I haven't done. This is one of my cables. So basically, the way I do it is, and I don't have it written down with me, so I'm going to try to go off memory here. I do, there, there, there's two pairs in each twisted pair, I mean there's two wires in each twisted pair, okay, there's like the orange ones, there's a uh, orange and white stripe, and then a solid orange, and then with the green one, there's a green and white stripe, and a green one, and the same with the blue and the brown. What I'm going to do is kind of straighten them out, since they were twisted, they're kind of funky, it just makes it easier to work with. Uh, I'm going to start off with the striped orange, basically white and orange together, then I'm going to put the solid orange right next to it. I kind of wiggle them around, try to straighten them out a little bit, so I can get that these wires in a connector after I cut them. Um, then I go with, I believe I go with the striped green. Going off memory, and again, it doesn't really matter as long as you try to keep it uniform with the rest of the business or the house that you're working with. Uh, I think I do a solid blue next. So, so far I got striped orange, solid orange, then I got striped green, solid blue, then I'm going to do so, uh, striped blue, solid green. I think this is the, I think this is the combination we do it at work. It's, I haven't made a cable in a couple of weeks, so then I'm going to do striped brown and solid brown. Okay. Once I get those all nice and bunched together, and I'm holding it tight with these two fingers here, I'm going to go ahead and take the crimping tool. It's basically just a tool that, that has a razor blade on it, and you can cut the ends of this off. Okay, and not, not just that, you have a, a uh, I'll show you here in a minute. Let me cut the ends of these off. I have my thumb, and, and as you do this more and more, it gets real easy, and you'll get your own way of doing things. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends of these off so it's ni nice and straight and, and small. Okay, now we got a nice cut, oops, nice cut end here. So I'm going to take a connector, or a, an end on it, okay, and I'm going to put it, slide these these wires right in there 
trying to keep them in that same order and I'm going to push it on real real hard here so all the wires, the tips of the wires get uh, pushed all the way to the end there. I want to make sure I get a good connection. Okay. So now I'm going to take my crimping tool again and at the end here is uh, a little little open slot. Oops. Hold on. Is a little open slot where I can plug this in. So what I'm going to do is plug it right in there. Oops. It's plugged in and then I'm going to crimp it and it's going to what it's going to do is it's going to pierce all those wires and it's also going to push down this, this one little plastic piece in here to help hold the, the wire in there so now you got one end basically the, that's 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 the hardest part now what you got to do is take the other end and do the same thing and the trick of it is, it, is the, the color combination that you use for these make sure it matches up with the other end and that would be your straight through cable the way I do it is I look at the the bottom side of it uh, well I don't know if, what's the bottom or the top but I look at the side that doesn't have the little clip on it so I can see the colors easy basically you just gotta make sure they're matched up it should work uh, you know there, there's times I've made them and you know I didn't crimp it just right or whatnot and uh, luckily hopefully you guys have some tools where you know a little cable tester most people I think don't most just regular end users don't but um, you know test it out see if it works and that's making a patch cable PCAddicts.com here talk to you later bye